Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belinda and today we're going to be doing a flip through and review of Girl With Poem by Momo Girl and I'm going to do a speed colouring as well. Let's pop in and have a look. So I finally managed to get my hands on a copy of Girls With Poem by Momo Girl. Uh, I did get it from Cool Craft Book Store on Etsy by from the lovely Moon. Uh, she was gorgeous, a lovely communication, came out really quickly and I did do a bit of a unpacking of that. I'll pop the link in the description below. I'll also pop Moon's link in below as well. She was absolutely beautiful. Um, she also sent me a translation of or a rough translation of the book and what poems were in it, which was really good. I'll quickly run through the names of each of the individual pages as we go through. Um, but the book is absolutely stunning. You couldn't use markers in it because there's an image on each side of the page. So if you wish to use markers, you're going to have um, marker come through onto the opposite page. So there was only a small amount of English. It just said there by Momo Girl. At the start of the book, there were some beautiful images of already colored pieces. Now, uh, Momo Girl's bringing out a new book uh, with tutorials on how to color skin colors and it's supposed to be a complimentary book to this one so when I get that I will show you that as well uh, but for now we're just going to go through the actual coloring book some of these images are really really cute and underneath each of the images is an Instagram name so you can actually pop on Instagram pop in the name and you'll be able to search that person up and there's some beautiful images by these people um, and I really enjoyed looking through Instagram and finding some of these ones as well so I'm actually following a few of them if you're not following me either you can follow me on Instagram uh, color with faithful girl uh, the link is in the description below as well so we've got our table of contents here which lists up to 40 images from the actual book now some of the images go over two pages the ones that actually go over two pages are at the end of the book as an individual image so that you don't have to color it with that uh, page gap in the middle as well so this one's called waxberry tree girl there's a poem on every single page and uh, their poems are all by different authors as well this one's called dayflower girl and um, I'm not going to run through all of the poems in it uh, because obviously they've got long names and, uh, and authors uh, of the poems as well this one here I've got is the orchard flower girl some of them are really cute I really love the little girls and the little animals in them that one was called crown of thorns this next one here is called sweet briar flower girl so as you can guess each page has its own sort of theme and flower so this one's a full page one this is the uh, snowdrop girl and there is another version of it at the back this one I think roughly translated is Fenji Girl. I've seen a few color this one. It's really pretty. We've got Verbena Flower Girl or Girl Flower. Linden Tree Girl. There's some beautiful doves in that one. I've got Mellow Girl. She looks like she's deep in thought there. We've got Peach Tree Girl Flower. Magnolia Girl. This is another one that's got a split page. So there's a different version at the back. We've got our Christmas Rose Girl. So overall, this book has some really beautiful detail in it and it was really well thought out. So I'm really impressed with how it's come out and I'm looking forward to coloring uh, more of the images in it. So there's tons of different uh, images and tons of different poems and I really do believe that you'll find something that you like in this book. This one's Poppy Girl, Crab Apple Girl, I really like that Asian style uh, coloring page. It's pretty. These two cute little girls. This is the Sundrops girl. They're adorable. We have Edelweiss girl. Then we have the Korean Berry Magnolia girl. I've got Orange Stonecrop girl. Asparagus girls. I absolutely love their outfits in that one. The next one we've got is the Yew Tree Girl Flower. She's quite cute. Sweet Elysium Girl with an Emily Bronte poem on that one. Chrysanthemum Girl. These two lovely girls are some sort of plantation lily. I love the tattoos. This one's Shasta Daisy Girl. Casablanca Girl. I've got Korean hibiscus flower. So much detail in there. I think that you would be able to use watercolors if you're very careful on those pages too. 
Look at that beautiful daffodil field. That's the daffodil girl, the rhododendron girl flower, the snapdragon girl. I love her Camino in that one. And babina girl. Look at those cute little faces. I love the partial grayscale in these as well. That's fairy star girl. It sort of gives you help when coloring in faces. Look at that owl in fairy tale girl. Very cute. There's a couple of individual images on Etsy as well of hers that I really like. So maybe you could check those out as well. I'll pop the link in the description. Look at that cute kitty. That one's a sunberry girl. That's the Fiona girl. I love her hair. It's beautiful. This is the snowflake girl, which I've actually colored up as a speed coloring at the end. So check that out. And that's the last image in the book, which is Vine Girl. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love their faces. At the end of the book here, we've got a couple of images that were spread across two pages. She's actually put them in as a whole page for you so you can color those in uninterrupted in the middle. So that's the whole book for you. I really, really loved the book. It's absolutely gorgeous quality. It's thick. The paper's awesome. Um, I did use Polychromos pencils for the speed coloring coming up now, so make sure you hang around to see the end of that. If you'd like to see a full tutorial of the speed coloring, then please pop over to Patreon and have a look there because I do have a four-part video using uh, Polychromos and a couple of Prismacolor pencils in there as well. I did find the Prismas were a little bit harder to use on this particular paper. It's just just that I was so used to using the polychromos that I didn't really adjust it to the uh, paper which I really should have done a little bit better um, but I think that if you had a play with it you could really get a nice look with Prismacolors as well um, so I hope you enjoy it guys uh, make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't already also you can click on the little bell and you'll get notifications when I upload new videos come and check me out live on Friday mornings that's uh, Australian Melbourne time and also you can follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook and Vero guys thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it click the thumbs up and I will talk to you or be talking to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.